Welcome to Operator AI. I'm Nikki. I want to bring awareness about deepfake audio and vishing. Vishing is a type of scam where someone uses a phone call or voice message to trick you into giving away personal information or performing an action that benefits the attacker. The attacker may impersonate an employee such as a bank or government agency in order to gain your trust and deceive you. Vishing is a form of phishing that relies on human interaction and deception rather than technical exploits. Okay, vishing has been around for decades. Now deepfake audio is around. Criminals using someone's voice from a person recording them or finding their voice online. Then implementing it in an AI software to trick people into believing that person is legit. When calling them, they use the software by talking in their own voice with the filter added of the person they want to disguise as. It gets translated into that person's voice while they're talking, based on the audio they found on the individual. Sometimes three seconds is enough. There's examples of these online such as a guy not scamming, rather showing how the software works. He used a filter mimicking Kendrick Lamar, rapping as if that's him. You'll think he released a new song. This is my voice with the Kendrick Lamar voice filter. Let it run, GC. Let it run. <laughs> Wish I could go back to the beginning. Are they gonna go and fake a Kendrick? I don't know. They could never capture all my lessons. My just is simply having. There's a story of a man who received a call from his boss, asking him to send $243,000. Being manipulated, he initiated the transfer. He later realized he was duped, conned, scammed. He felt for the dialect his boss has a subtle German accent. The scammer had used deepfake audio to persuade the CEO to do it. A scammer replicating the voice of someone you're familiar with, a family member. An elderly couple in Houston was called by someone, striking fear to draw their hands. Hey, I'm your son's attorney. He's in jail because he hit a pregnant woman in a car accident. She lost her baby. What? Your son is in need of your help for legal fees. He sustained a broken nose and will be charged for DWI. This incident is going to be a high-profile case. He needs $15,000 to post bail. Are you serious? Oh my goodness, Lord have mercy. The lawyer put the fake on the phone to voice their son. It was later lowered to 5000 Kathy, his mom, pushed back her chemotherapy to assist her son. By handing the $5,000 in cash to a woman who came to Kathy's home to pick up the money. I could have sworn I was talking to my son. We had a conversation. A few solutions I have is to ask that person a personal question or questions that they should know if you are skeptical about the call. Verify as much as you can to see if that person is a relative or hang up and call that relative to be sure. They can also use someone's voice to utter things they haven't said. Criminal activities. A plot to commit a heinous act, in which that person has not schemed to rob or scam someone. Yet the audio says otherwise. Systems are in place and some are still developing to detect a fake efficiently. The ones that are in place are designed to detect unnatural patterns in the voice. Deep fake audio is not a widespread cybercrime. You still have to be aware of it. By listening to patterns in the audio that are not natural nor match the actual vocal tract of the real person. It can be a back and forth fight. As criminals adapt to the solution then a new solution will be created. This can go on and on. That's why I am here to bring awareness to the issue. To take down. The voice altering scammers. If you like this video click the like and subscribe for more. From Operator AI.